think the, the aviation in general, whether it is the military or civilian in, in Saudi Arabia and the region is in, in a whole, is expanding uh, uh, very fast. Actually, in the last four or five years, it's probably doubled, whether in the military or in the civil, uh, civil uh, side, in the private aviation has doubled in, in Saudi Arabia in the last few years uh, uh, t t quite uh, tremendously. I think the demands on, on, uh, on, on traffic on Saudi Arabia uh, is, is increasing, which increases a lot of uh, business opportunity for the aviation business in Saudi Arabia and in the region as a whole. I think it is, the demand comes from the increasing business here and the, the good economy. The kingdom enjoy a very good uh, and excellent uh, economy state. Uh, a lot of business are developing in the kingdoms here. A lot of uh, new graduates coming to the kingdoms who are uh, entrepreneurs making their own business. A lot of business in the regions here. This uh, area here uh, with, with the kingdom situated where it is, is, is a good place for hub and for good business for those who wants to start a good business here. And the government is spending billions and billions of dollars here to, uh, to, uh, to increase the business opportunities for everybody here. We, we in our, our uh, company trying to attract uh, mainly expats from the uh, military, but at the same time we are looking for opportunity to attract people who are just fresh graduates. You know the kingdom now has more than 136,000 students outside. Those people come back here, they need job and they, are, they have uh, good talents, they graduated from a good university around the world. So those are our targets, especially in our the engineers, electric engineers or mechanical engineers, because we have a wide business on, on, on mechanical and electric engineers. We operate companies that operate uh, railways in, in Saudi Arabia. We have MRO facilities, we have uh, uh, training, we have um, the uh, uh, EW uh, equipments that we are trying to work with with the air defense. So we need a lot of engineers and a lot of experts.